Some of you might love what we're gonna do today, and some of you are gonna have to learn to love what we're gonna do today. You might see where I'm going with this. As soon as you see this thing come out of the box, and some of you might be wondering to yourself, what in the heck is about to happen? So I've got a four to eight inch miter cut, 36 inch stack. And then I've got my truck here with a four inch straight pipe exhaust, but a traditional exhaust tip here. I think you guys can put two and two together. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. So not only do we have a new camera, we have new merch, we have new parts, and we have a new looking 1997 that you guys can actually enter to win. When you see this video, this is the official last 24 hours to enter to win this truck. When you see this video, last 24 hours are here and it's either now or never to enter to win this truck. Don't wait until that last minute and then regret not knowing if when that phone call gets made knowing, dang it, that could have been me. If I just would have bought a hat, which is super cool and good looking anyways, or a t-shirt or a tank or a backpack or a phone case, we've even got phone cases, guys. We've got phone cases that are like, I kid you not, dang near otter box quality for like 28 bucks. Go check stuff out, buy something that you think you can use or you will like or enjoy. Enter to win this beautiful one of a kind, 1997 12 out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. We are going to be doing an upgrade to this truck that I personally have been looking forward to and I thought it was gonna be a really good one and I'm super stoked about it. You might have to learn to like it. And a lot of guys have loved it and I like it too. It looks good, I'm not gonna lie. But I wouldn't mind changing it up a little bit and doing something a little bit even more different to the truck. Something that you don't see a lot of. And that is going to be putting a 4 to 8 inch miter cut exhaust stack and making it an exhaust tip on this truck. Before you guys freak out, I know there's already guys scrolling down to the comments and they're going to make a comment before they even watch the video and see the result. I did this before in another truck, and at first, some people thought, oh my goodness, don't do it, that's stupid. But then as soon as it was done being installed, a lot of people were like, holy smoke, I want to do that to my truck. So this is what's going to happen. Whether you like it or not, you better learn to like it, because this is going down. And hopefully it all works well, we don't have any issues, don't have any complications, but I think it's going to look really really good test fit kind of like where it's gonna sit so we can make sure that it's somewhere where we want it to be because obviously we don't want it to look stupid even though some of you guys are gonna say well it don't matter what you're gonna do it's gonna look stupid okay i get it you don't like it you're not a fan uh, but we're gonna try to make it work well i guess you boys that didn't like the idea of a stack exhaust tip got lucky because it's not gonna work why did it go from this is gonna happen to not gonna happen that quick? Well, let me show you. If you look underneath here, there's a bend, and then there's a little stretch of straight pipe, and then it's right up over the axle. This exhaust tip, I've done it on another second gen, and it turned out perfect to where the tip just hardly came out past this um, bended piece of metal right here, bent piece of metal right there. And it worked perfect, you know, it didn't stick out past the fender really more than an inch or two. It looked really good, looked clean. And essentially it made it look like I had an eight inch tip except the entire stack went up under the bed to where it hit all of it and it just had a clean shiny pipe sticking out and that's all you could see, not like a giant tip sticking out on the end of the four inch pipe, which if you ask me, looks way worse than a stack tip, which basically half this is hidden and the other half is visible versus like I just said, huge tip that goes about that long and then it's just a tiny four inch pipe sticking out that you see clear as day down the side of the truck. It's not gonna be able to go back far enough to be able to make it fit and look right. There's a hanger that is on the side of the pipe right there, which isn't where the hanger was on the last truck that I did because that hanger was further back and then I cut it. Which is all these things you wanna test out before you go cutting stuff. This exhaust, this exhaust here, stack, is the exact same size as the pipe, right there. Exact same size. So it doesn't fit in, it doesn't fit over, it's a four inch pipe. It wouldn't be able to go back far enough, therefore the exhaust tip would stick out like four inches, and I'm not about to do that because that's just going to look completely stupid. I'm going to take a little microfiber rag and you can see how dusty this is. 
I'm gonna take this, wipe it all down. We did get a little product in the mail here from our friends over at American Force. A new wheel cap because they shorted me one. Well, looks like they sent an entire set of wheel caps. And yes, they finally got me the right cap, which I'm very excited about. And yes, these wheels are dusty again, and I haven't even hardly driven this thing. But, so we're gonna get this cap tightened on there so that we can have a complete set for the first time ever, which is something that I've been waiting on for the last, I wanna say three weeks. I ordered that, I didn't order it, I called them and told them they better send me another cap because of a deadline right before, it was a week, no, it was over a week before my wedding, which was two over two weeks ago now. So this has been three and a half-ish weeks since we ordered that wheel cap from them to get a replacement, and it just came in. So anyways, we're gonna get this all tightened on, snug as a bug, and then uh, call it quits for the evening and figure out what we're gonna do next tomorrow. Now I am no American Force fanboy, and I've never owned another set other than this. But one thing I do like about their caps, which obviously there's a lot of brands that do this, but not all of them. And I know there's probably people out there that have had this experience and it's kind of, maybe you're not as OCD as me in certain things, but I hate it when like you put caps on your wheels and they can't all face the same direction. And then like one's right side up, one's upside down, one's crooked, one's straight. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it drives me crazy. This one at an angle, American Force, American being right here, Force being right there. The back one, same exact thing. Just one of those little details that like, for most people it doesn't matter. You're never gonna notice it or pick up on it. But it's one of those things that uh, really top off the effect that the truck can give if you really do pay attention to the small details. And as far as the stack goes, it is stored away until we find a further use for it. Like I said, the stack tip didn't work out. We did get the American Force cap that they owed us, but this is the next day and we are actually going to look at a third gen. I did a live stream on Instagram, did a live stream on YouTube, I took a vote on Instagram. I've been asking you guys, I said, we wanna do a more involved build. We wanna do a lot more to a truck, kinda of like what we used to with you know Nasty Red and the Dually and stuff that you guys liked a lot. Like you got, like that's what founded the channel and I wanted to bring something back but not just like that, but actually even more involved build. So what we're gonna do is go look at a truck right now, and it's a 2008 67 third gen Cummins. This one's only got 90,000 original miles on it, so I'm actually freaking stoked to see this truck. And it it looks, a, you know, a subscriber sent it to me, and it looks like it's really clean. But we're gonna see it in person here in about 10 minutes, and. Hopefully it's just as clean a person as it is on pictures, because if it is, we might be buying a third gen today. We went and looked at that 08, 6, 7 third gen, and it looks like a good truck. Only thing that I didn't like, ran good, drove good, shifted good. Things that I didn't like, AC didn't work hardly. I mean, it blew, but it was not cold, didn't get cold after 15 minutes of driving. And there was an engine light on. The engine light, I'm guessing based on forms I've read, has to do with the ETR basically needing to be taken off and a new one being put on or, you know, deleting the thing off. And then that pretty much will solve that issue. But in, what the dealership said is it's showing like engine codes for, you know, const air constriction, constrictive airflow and stuff like that, which basically would mean that essentially is getting clogged up and stuff with uh, all the soot over time of recirculating that gas, those exhaust gases. So I don't know. It didn't seem like a big deal, but there were just a couple other little things that I just kind of didn't like about the truck. Just some small flaws that I'm like, okay, a little rust spot on the corner of the bumper I didn't see, a little rust spot around the door handle I didn't like. Like stuff that wasn't really that noticeable and most people probably never would have paid any attention to it because it's not like the cab corners and rockers and bed was all rusted that that wasn't a problem it was just real small stuff but i'm like okay we're not gonna we're not gonna make a deal on this truck today because it's a nice truck really nice truck but i just want to look at my options before locking something down because whatever we build next i want to do a lot of stuff to therefore i don't want to buy something that needs work before we can do the work see what i'm saying so we're gonna go look at a truck right now. That's a 2007 
5.9 liter with only 114,000 miles on it. So just crossed that 100,000 mile mark. Beautiful truck. The guys actually had, I think they had four or five third gens on their lot. I'm gonna talk to them a little bit, try to work out maybe a deal for marketing them in trade for keeping me in touch with what trucks they have. There's a nice third gen mega cab. Anyways, basically that truck that just drove by, it was a red third gen in 06. It had 94,000 miles on it. And I called him and I said, hey, do you guys still have the truck? They're like, no, we put it for sale and it was gone. I mean, quick. He's like, these trucks, there's pretty much a sweet spot, which is like that 20, that like, well, it's more like 18 to 25, 26 range. And he's like, we put them up for like 22, 23. And he's like, they're just gone, gone, gone. He's like, doesn't matter if it's got 80,000 miles or 180,000 miles, 200,000 miles. He's like, they just go for that price. And I'm like, well, you guys got another one? He's like, yeah, we just got it in 0759 silver he's like no body rust at all he's like hardly anything you know starting on the frame like minor 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 stuff stuff that you could probably sand off and then you know chassis saver and you know there's nothing wrong with it at all it's not like it's corrosive and bad um and i'm like okay well i'm gonna be down we got some cash and we're gonna see they've got a bunch of third gens they've got some duramaxes and stuff but we're going after that five nine Okay guys, so we did end up buying a silver third gen comes. You guys are gonna have to wait and see that truck, but we're actually on our way to a Dodge dealership. I know, we just bought a truck in the video. We're trying to buy another one, that's a hint. So we've got the Malibu, we just got it all detailed inside. We got it detailed outside. The car looks really good. I think I haven't stepped out to see it yet, but in my mirrors, it's super shiny and it's never been shiny before. I don't ever really wash this car. It's neglected because I'm more worried about keeping, keeping nice trucks clean than the Malibu. Um, but anyway, so we're on our way to a Dodge dealership because we're looking at birthday gifts for my wife, Reagan. And also, not just like a birthday gift, but also kind of like a birthday gift slash thank you and appreciation truck slash kind of like a celebration for her um, new brand, Diesel Babe. So we're actually really excited, and I think she's going to be able to take it a very, very long way. And she's got a really good platform to just launch it and really start a movement for the female um, diesel enthusiast audience that really nobody else was doing the right way. And what I mean by that is representing those people the way they deserve to be represented, not just representing them in a wrongful, lustful way, which is the way a lot of female you know, enthusiasts, is what they call themselves, do on their social media and pages and how they brand themselves. So super excited for her. We're gonna go to the dealership and check out some brand new trucks. So we are finally to the point where you're gonna see the third gen that we actually bought, and it is a super clean, super nice, beautiful, beautiful truck. 114,000 original miles on this thing, and the truck just runs good, it drives good, it shifts good, but we already have a lot of stuff coming for it that are on the schedule. I mean, just, you guys are gonna have to see the truck. It's beautiful, and this is gonna be that build that we've been waiting for that's a lot more involving and that we do a lot more to that you guys were just really looking for something that's going to be around a little bit longer that we're going to get a lot of stuff done to and it's going to take a huge and true transformation just like you guys have been wanting so thank you guys so much for all the patience with us getting to this point and uh, hopefully this is a huge turning point in terms of how we do our builds and how we represent our brand so thank you guys so much for all the love and the support let's get over to this open parking lot and reveal this truck
I mean, guys, this truck is so nice, so clean. And I know there's gonna be some guys that are like, oh my goodness, there's fender flares on it. You better check under those. The fender flares come off super easy. They're just a couple screws. The guy said that there was nothing under the fender flares. He's like, they just kind of do that to a lot of their trucks. It's kind of like an aftermarket, you know, look. They do like new tires and then they do flares and stuff like that because almost all their truck had flares on them. But um, it's just a matter of a couple screws and those pop up if we want them off. But I kind of think I want to keep them on for this truck and you guys are gonna see the end result. Once that happens, I can't go into all the details in this video because this video is gonna get really long and uh, I've already got a lot of footage and we've also got another big surprise coming up in I believe the next upload. So stay tuned because we might have a huge, huge birthday gift for my wife, Reagan. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned into the video. Do not forget the last 24 hours to enter the Mordecai 12 valve giveaway truck are here. This is the last 24 hours to enter starting now where there's going to be a video tomorrow hopefully as a reminder for like the last five six seven hours of the giveaway but this is your last chance and might be your last reminder to enter the giveaway and every 15 dollars you spend gets you two entries to win that is a deal we've never done before and i cannot promise you we will ever do again so thank you guys so much you guys are awesome stay tuned i will catch you in the next upload peace